Scout Block Lookout um, is located at the Walton entrance, so at the very south end of the park over in Essex. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a fun little climb. It is a lookout, so anytime you hear lookout, you think mostly up to get to the destination and then mostly down to get back to your car. So this is definitely no exception. Um, it starts out in trees like a lot of lookouts tend to do. But this one's really interesting because this one is pretty much treed all the way to the top. So, um, you know, you you really don't break out into views until like the last half mile of, of the trip. So, and um, that's a little bit, you know, not as great as you know, some of the lookouts, but the um, overall grade of the lookout, I would say is somewhere, it's I think smack dab in the middle if you want to compare lookouts, right between Mount Brown lookouts, really big intensity, and Huckleberry lookouts, you know, pretty casual approach. So, you know, if you uh, are working your way up to Mount Brown, uh, definitely throw this one right in the middle. And uh, yeah, uh, met Henry at the top, he's a really cool um, lookout guy, he's been doing it for uh, 11 years, so this one definitely um, has has a person in it during the summer, and so that's that's really fun, and you know gives you a chance to kind of talk and ask questions like, what's it like being in a lookout when it gets struck by lightning, and other random questions that you can ask them. Um, this lookout is under construction right now because of the a lot of snow that we got, and especially a lot of wet spring snow with some rain and stuff, kind of crunched one edge of the the roof. So, anyways, they had to helicopter some scaffolding and mule up some supplies and whatnot. So they are currently working on that so it's pictures of it aren't as pretty as some of the other locales because it's uh, getting a bit of a facelift right now. But yeah, awesome views into the middle fork. Um, you know, once you get up, there's a nice ridge that you kind of get to and that's when you first get to see the lookout and, uh, and starting to look into the Oli Creek drainage and then um, to the east and, uh, and there's a Park Creek drainage to the west. And uh, yeah, you just get to look over into the Two Med area and you get to see, you know, just to the north it's Mount St. Nicholas, and then a couple of the 10,000 footers, Jackson and, um, to the left, and then Stimson right in the middle with its nice flat top. And so, yeah, you know, it's um, just really great views, which is one of the reasons why I'm a huge fan of lookouts. So anyway, yeah, not too, not too crazy. You know, you're looking at um, about a seven or so mile day, maybe eight mile day. Um, so it's not, not gonna, it's, it's not one of the crazier days as far as, you know, big hikes in the park, but as always, lookouts bring water. There's no water for you at the lookout. There is for the person who's up there, but um, so yeah, scout block lookout, you know, nice views, south end of the park, the path less traveled. It's pretty nice. It's also the beginning of August, and so all the way through towards the middle to the end, depending upon the year, the uh, huckleberries are in bloom. Learn what a huckleberry looks like. I've come across people that don't know what they look like. You really need to, um, and eat them because they're delicious. Uh, I think you're limited to a pint for personal use per day, so keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, they should be good um, for quite some time this year. They're nice and fat, and they uh, will just keep being ripe higher and higher up in elevation. Ran some guys up at the Upper Park Creek Campground and then saw them again at the trailhead a couple days later and uh, they were waiting for their ride when I left and so uh, I did scalp block and came back to this. Pretty hilarious. Thanks guys.